Today I will show you how we can change the default name in the shell prompt and as well as the color that you can change in the shell prompt. So basically it's a very easy task. What you have to do? You have to go for the bash file bash rc sorry gedit bash rc and in the bash rc you can do many settings basically that's for your terminal and as well as for your unix related so what i'm going to do here is like i'm going to change my default name that you see here that is san at the rate san virtual box so basically it represents a username the host name and as well as the uh, current directory and a dollar symbol which displays that so basically we can type afterwards so this is what which is uh, which once you install unix or once you, once you install linux you can basically see this particular thing now how can we change this so what you do go to the bash rc and in the bash rc you can see something called as ps1 equal to and ps1 equal to like that you can see like if color prompt equal to yes then ps1 equal to else ps1 equal to something else so what you see here basically that is as i said you can see the username the host name the current working directory and as well as the display parameter that is the dollar sign so which shows the 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 default name on your terminal now i don't want to show this terminal every time show so sorry i don't want to show this uh name every time in the terminal so what i do i want something else like my customized one so what i do basically i just comment this just comment this by using hash symbol okay so before that what i want to tell you is like what is ps1 that is basically the prompt setting so we have the prompt setting ps1 ps2 ps3 ps4 so basically like ps2 is used for like many different parameters you can give inside one command and ps1 is basically used for like uh for your user name for your uh display name in the terminal and all so what you do like basically you command this prompt setting one the ps1 and you write your own ps1 there so <clears throat> how can we write our own ps1 so before that let me open this so here as i have told you can see that slash u display the current name slash h display the host name print the base of the directory working directory that slash w and the dollar which displays hash or whatever so how can we modify this basically we can modify just by using export command so instead of going for export command i go for like directly editing the uh directly editing the bash rc itself so my aim is like to change the name as well as give something new though and change the color of that also so how can we change the color of this so what you do basically for that so here you can see that it was told like you can use slash e to start a color scheme xy which shows the color pair to use x colon y and ps1 that's your shell prompt variable and as well as e of m slash e of m which shows stop the color scheme though so what you do here go to your g edit type something like this ps1 equal to open in a quotes slash e that shows that your color scheme is getting started though slash e open brace zero colon 32 which shows the color scheme what you want so i'm going for some color scheme like i guess 0 32 is for green and instead of all this user name everything i go for something like an arrow mark symbol okay so this symbol from where i got so basically i just like in google i type arrow symbol so when you type the arrow symbol you can get that wiki of the arrow symbol in wiki of arrow symbol you can see many type of arrows so what you like based on that you can use one of the arrow you can copy one of this arrow or you can make in your simple keyboard like 
by using a dash and as well as by using the greater than sign you can make an arrow symbol but always there will be a gap between that two symbols because you say dash and then you say greater than symbol so instead of that I just want an arrow symbol properly so I used I copied this arrow symbol and I paste inside my dash rc there you can see that this arrow symbol so 0 32 represent the color combination as I said and as well as then you can see after the color combination you can see that uh, my ps1 that is nothing but the prompt setting variable and then I show that end of my color scheme so I have stopped here but again you can see that after some space like I guess two space I have given here and then again I have typed the same thing slash e open 0 colon 33 that's yellow color and then I put an tilt sign so in this tilt sign you can see that it's going to be yellow color and I stopped that and then I put a space here again and I closed that my quotes is closed so what do you do in the else also that means like if you are in the root so in the root also I want to show the same thing if you want to show something else the previous one like the ps1 that's your deviant root and as well as its username host name etc okay fine if you don't want to show that if you change into root also i want to show the same thing so what i do i use the same thing there ps1 equal to slash e0 32m arrow mark end of the color scheme and again start the color scheme with a tilde sign and that's with yellow color so this much done so save it so let me save this. I've saved the bash. That's it. Now exit. Let me restart my bash. So now you can see that in my bash, it's that arrow mark and as well as the tilde sign, the space, and the rest of things you can do as it is. That's it. So it's very simple to change your shell prompt name and as well as the color which you like which you would like to give now there are a list of colors basically so you can, you can give as you want like i have given like for the arrow mark green color at 0 32 and for the tilde sign i have given yellow color so basically that's 0 33 yeah it's 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 not yellow it's basically the brown color that's 0 33 looks like yellow sorry for that but okay that's that's it now you can change another thing also like your profile preferences in your profile preferences you can go for the custom font uh, uh, you can make it as bold text you can increase the size of your terminal window etc the command colors or whatever that's that's basic thing which you which all of us basically do to beautify our terminal so that's it for today's tutorial Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.